Hey folks, Grumman and Homestead, welcome back. Uh, 12th, Sunday the 12th, Easter Sunday. These are uh, super sweet 100 cherry tomatoes, saved from my own seed. Uh, sowed 16, 16's come through. Awesome. And we've got a couple of pots of uh, basil. That one. Then just moving over to this one. Get the lid off with one hand. So these are the. Hang on a minute. Uh, these are the uh, different types of tomatoes. Uh, Wenzel, uh, Monster, something <laughs> from Willie Coleman, and these are the Prairie. One's designed for a cool, cool weather, I think he said. And then these are the monster bell peppers. And there's just another tomato there. You can see they're just starting to develop some more leaves now. So I've just got them in the house. As I say, I don't have a grow light, but they seem to be. I keep turning them every day. So they're not doing too bad at all. So in the little grow tent thing. It's uh, 70, not too bad. And uh, these are more sweet peas. This is single seed challenge. This is the uh, Tushini. Again, sent by Willie, but uh, originally from Tim, Troll Forge. There's a couple of more tomatoes in there, and these are some uh, carnation cuttings that are growing away now. And these are the rosemary cuttings that. Uh, I got going just in water and they're potted up and growing away. The bird box is cleaned out and uh, put back up, so I don't know if we might be in time to get some something nesting in it. And I've managed to get a couple of coats of black metal paint onto the, you know, the handlebar bits of the barrow, and then tomorrow. I'll turn it over and the inside of the body there, there's a bit, quite a patch of rust there that'll have to be done, but hopefully once that's all cleaned and repainted it'll, uh, it'll be great. And I don't know if you can see that, this is Echinacea. And there's just a, two or three coming through, which is nice. I didn't think they were going to make it actually. On this standard rose, I put a bud graft in last year, and uh, it's growing. That's from that's the own, uh, just a bud from you know the normal variety, but this is the bud graft here. That's brilliant. So I can't remember now exactly what I think it was a highly scented double-headed rose, but we'll see. All the more exciting to see what it turns out. There's another one I put in. Uh, on this side, it looks quite healthy, but anyway, just wait and see if that one grows too. But that'd be brilliant. And on this fig tree, it looks like we're going to get a little bit of growth on that graft. That should be great. And down here, I'm trying a like an air layer, but in water. Um, so I'll keep you posted to see whether that works. So I'll just uh, have a quick catch up here in on the plot. Uh, Boltardi beetroot, uh, multi sown stir on onions. The, the heats really help these germinate. Um, kale, I think it was called variety, was it fizz? And uh, savoy. So cabbage and here we've got some savoy cabbage I think I sowed these about three weeks ago and uh, some more kale again sowed about the same time so quite soon I'll be getting those hardened off and uh, we'll get them planted out and then here we've got some chard and uh, some more multi-sown spinach doesn't look like it's all going to germinate but anyway 
and again just the um, Zabrun shallots not looking too bad now and that's the lamb's lettuce and what have you been harvesting this quite a lot and this lot now is coming up very fast behind it so I've got a nice uh, crop in succession right we'll have a, a quick look outside that'll do for the uh, update these are my uh, gutter sown peas munch too just hardening them off in the cold frame again with some multi sown beets and onions some cos lettuce the icicle radish and down there's the leeks got some uh, shallots planted rhubarb's doing well now and uh, half a bed of uh, spinach more shallots here and then that's the elephant garlic with the little offsets there and then a couple of days ago I got uh, this is purple sprouting broccoli and it was 12 plants in there so I'm just going to finish the update with a shot of these uh, grafted apples you can see the sprouting shoots now leaves so that's a really good sign and they'll be the ones here that on my own route stop the M26 again you can see the scions are uh, sprouting it's a very good sign so I'll leave it there thanks very much indeed for watching please like share comment subscribe and all that stuff uh, the only other thing I'll finish with is some cold nights forecast for us in the UK so uh, a bit of better spinach over there I think I'm just going to pop a bit of fleece on it so just be careful about your tender plants. Alright, bye for now.